No, I want to ask you about a video. One of, one of the first videos that I'd ever seen of you, uh, the first time I discovered, I guess, that you existed, was a video that appeared on the website reddit.com. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen or heard of that website, but nonetheless, you appeared there. And it was a young student, um, and I forget the university that you were at, had university to cry in front of you uh, as you as you spoke of the Holocaust. And it evoked a very visceral, emotional response in her. And you were unwavering in your kind of um, response to that. So is this, some, is this kind of a... An emotional response that we saw in that video, I'm sure you're aware of its existence. Is it something that you come across quite often? And why do you think it still evokes such a huge emotional response in people? Because it clearly still does. You know, again, times have changed. That video was about, I think, 2003 or 2005, something like that. Yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, I don't watch the, uh, the YouTube, at least I don't watch myself on YouTube. Um, but yeah. I understand that there's something like 100,000 YouTube views. And if you, yeah, look at, yeah. if you look at me in recent years, uh, the presentation is very even, it's very calm, the audience is very calm. I think usually we have fairly fruitful exchanges with dissenters in the audience. Um, yeah. I, uh, that particular video, there's a certain amount of, uh, a certain misunderstanding about it. First of all, the young woman was not Jewish. Uh, many people think I was lashing out at this young Jewish woman. No, she was German. And I found it deeply offensive um, that a German was telling me, the son of Nazi Holocaust survivors, how I should be talking about the Nazi Holocaust. Now, let me yeah. make one thing very clear here. Uh, I have a lot of very close German friends, actually most of my closest Jewish friends. Many of my closest friends now are German. Uh, Ruth Bettina Byrne, a brilliant scholar of the Nazi Holocaust. Marin Hackman, who's my editor. Uh, so uh, I don't carry my parents' baggage. I don't blame my parents. I certainly understand them. But I don't carry my parents' baggage when it comes to Germans. I'm a new generation, and I don't carry that baggage. The thing is, many, for many Germans, of which this young woman was exemplary, for them, the Nazi Holocaust is a theater. It's a passion play. You're supposed to come up on stage and beat your chest and say, oh, how horrible it was, how horrible, and then you're supposed to cry. And I don't, uh, I, I, I don't like that because it's phony. It's fake. You're putting on the show. Even though the tears were probably real, the foundation was fake and phony. It's putting on a show, beating your breast, saying how unhappy you are, no, uh, if you have those sentiments, if you really are sad, it's something private. Don't put on shows for me. You know, I don't like public grieving. Because the moment you start grieving in public, it becomes a theater. You know, you both know Whitney Houston, for sure, right? Yes, yeah. I was, I was, you could have missed Whitney Houston. <laughs> okay. When Whitney Houston passed away, uh, her mother and then later her brother, they started to do the talk show circuit, especially when the mother's book came out for the year-long anniversary. And I'm watching them like they're on Oprah. And the grief is real. The grief is real. <clears throat> I have no doubt in my mind about it. It's a mother who lost her daughter, a brother who yeah. lost her sister. But I have to ask myself, why are you doing it on national television? Yes. Why, why aren't you doing that privately? What, what, is, what is this national grieving? And that's how I felt with this woman. She wants to come out and show everybody in that audience at Waterloo how much she as a German is hurt by the Holocaust. Well, number one, young lady, I got news for you. As pained as you are, I'm a lot more pained. Because I had to live with my parents' suffering for the entire duration of their life, till the last day of their life. So I'm a lot more pained than you. So please don't tell me about how to talk about the Nazi Holocaust. And number two, if you really are grieving, save it for the privacy of a room. Don't put it on show for everyone, because then it becomes a theater, and I'm not interested. And I have, as I said, spare me the crocodile tears. I don't want to hear from it. 